so this is uh, Clint Bray, and welcome to TV15's uh, this year's live coverage of the uh, local um, uh, state local state fair. Uh, this year's broadcast is brought to you by um, Mind, the Mindstorm line of products, including Nutrisco Fruit Coops. Now coming to you live from uh, the TV15, uh, Mindstorm uh, Media Home Media Entered uh, TV15 Stage is uh, Bob Scabbage and uh, Wayne uh, Gary Stacy. Uh, coming okay. to you, all right, here we are coming to you live from uh, the Mindstorm uh, Home Securities and Home Theater and Multimedia Entertainment Stage. Hi, guys. Uh, from the State Fair, it's T15. I'm Bob, uh, I'm Bob Scabbage. And I'm Wayne Gary Stacy, uh, production manager and head of the TV15 Public Access Studios is in, here in Durberville. Boy, I, I, it's real exciting to be out here at the fair. Uh, I feel like every day is a party this time of year. Every day is like my bachelor party all over again. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, if you can, I don't know if you can remember that. It was probably down in the prehistoric days. <laughs> all right, fair enough, fair enough. Anyway, we uh, we've uh, we got together ourselves a pretty good little crowd down here at the Mindstorm Home Securities and Home Theater Multimedia Entertainment stage. Uh, why don't you give a shout out? Why don't you give a little clap to all the people there in okay. TV land? Uh, yeah, so why don't we just, uh, can we get some sounds from the audience here, some claps? Clap your hands. Okay, uh... Uh, the State Fair, as you know, uh, was called off, uh, last year due to the, uh, torrid rainfall and tornadoes. Which incidentally also caused the beginning of our TV15, uh, podcast when the antennas were knocked out by one of those... Tornadoes, I think it was an F4. So uh, so this year they're doing the State Fair a, a month earlier. Uh, I think from, from uh, for all the years to come from now on uh, to avoid tornado season. Yeah, and to, give, and to give everyone plenty of time to prepare uh, for the devastating tornadoes uh, that in the past couple of years have inevitably come to our fair state. Okay, so anyway, uh, Wayne, you have been going around to some of the various um, attractions. Attra attractions around the fair. So uh, let me see, uh -huh. uh, why don't you tell the good people here yes. what you've been yeah, looking at. Th that's, uh, well, that's right, Bob. I think we've had a chance to see some great things out here, uh, including, yeah, thank you, the 4-H Club Petting Tent uh, was quite a great place go on down it's just right over here off to the right uh one of the ones i'm really excited about is the uh is the dale earnhardt uh, jr memorial a nascar simulation uh tent is it a simulation of a crash oh oh, oh gosh no 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 uh, that's a simulation of uh the one i guess the ones that he he completed the races that were a little better better for him i oh, think he did the race okay and yeah, that's right. It's uh, you know, it's more nothing bad happened, huh? And you can go and check that out if you need to. Uh, so that should be good fun. I'm gonna go down there later today. So uh, if we gotta go, to, uh, it's winds picking up a little bit, but head down there and hopefully the tent will still be standing. Look at this. We got people holding on their hats. Okay. Public service announcement: Hold on your hats if you're wearing them right now. Yeah, a lot of flags waving right now. Makes it feel patriotic. Uh, and the YMCA Inner City Hugs and Harmony. Uh, they gave us a sample of a song that they wrote and performed. I understand it's a little kind of a rap number. Uh, yeah, but the uh, the subject matter of it is uh, is Christian in nature, so it's uh, it's you know that's great. Uh, these uh, these guys, Inner City Youth, uh, put together a little scene group, uh, uh, Hugs in Harmony. So. Dig your sister out. 
Oh, oh, that's just a, that's a great message in that song. Really, really hit it right home right there. Just really made me feel great. Help each other out, huh? We got it. I wish someone would help me out once in a while with my uh, my car. So, uh, speaking of young people. Your lawn, that thing's looking like a weed pile or something over there. Well, if any inner city youth wants to help me with that, I will pay a little money to do my lawn. Uh, Speaking of youths and doing good things, uh, you can also check out the uh, uh, Beavers Club Little Achievers Tent, uh, where ah, and that's also for youth, uh, right? Uh, not the inner city youth, but some of the the Beavers Club Little Achievers uh, uh, Tent. That's kind of a junior uh, Lions Club or Elks Club kind of situation going on there. And so, uh, what they're doing down there is a, a, a sailing knot seminar. I think a sa- uh, seminar for sailing knots. Uh, it's a, they're doing a teach a knot, a learn a knot. So uh, you can learn from someone else's knot, or you can teach them your knot. Uh, to knot or not to knot? Uh, that is the question they are answering down there. <laughs> right, right, I guess you're right about that. Uh, but actually, the answer is that they're going to knot because uh, you do learn knots there. So it's not to not, not. And we know plenty of, I mean, I have a hitch knot and you know a couple of those. I know a bunch of knots.
98 up on the laser stage now for the rest of the afternoon and bleeding into the evening. I'm your host, Rod Manthrax. I'm going to kick it up to 11 for you so you can get all your daily grind, rock, and rage right here at the State Fair. And speaking of, we got a rage cage set up here for anyone who comes down to the stage with Slash Me 5. You can take it for a spin, get your own ride on the Rock and Rage Cage, sponsored by Lix, guitar and amplifier repair and replacement down on Fridley. Uh, go check them out and get a V898 discount. Got that news out of the way, and now for the ladies. All you coming down to the state fair this year can visit me at the laser stage in the V898 bandwagon. Get a free sample of Glitz hairspray and a free t-shirt. Speaking of t-shirts, we'll have the Wet n Wild Wings, Wet n Wild Wet t-shirt contest on Wednesday night. Uh, that's Wednesday, not Friday this year because of the high winds. So ladies, put in your calendars and dudes. But don't forget to come down and check out the Wet n Wild Wet Women we've got rocking here on Thursday night. All right, we just heard Swingin' Crips by Fender Bender, and joining me on stage is Dylan Rigg, lead singer of Fender Bender, of course, one of the rockinest acts from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and still going strong today. Now, Dylan, uh, you're the fourth singer to take the stage with Fender Bender. What was it like being amongst some of rock and roll history's rockin' gods? Yeah, man, I mean, it was awesome. I wasn't there for the recording of, of that song, but I grew up listening to Fender Bender, and it was like a dream come true when I replaced uh, Mickey, the third singer. Great, and we're going to be listening to a Fender Bender classic uh, sorry, called Wine. Uh, Dylan, uh, tell us a little bit about this one. All right, um, well, I, I was not in the band at the time, but I can tell you Manny, the original guy who wrote all the songs, he wrote this one after his first marriage, I think. And uh, it's, a, it's a great, it's a really good song about love and trust and marriage. All right, well, here's Fender Bender with Wine, live from the State Fair on V898, VWAX. <laughs> The guy with the, you know, uh, the tattoos up and down his arm, uh, he's out to lunch. And I'm yelling, you know, I'm at the top of my lungs telling him to disengage the gears or whatever. In the crankshaft, he's leaning on it. And my chain from my wallet stuck in the hinge. I swear to God, I thought I was going to die right there. I don't know. Uh, so guys, watch out. You got to be safe. You got to be careful this summer. Have a good assault. Wow, and if I'm not mistaken, Wayne, that's uh, not your first incident on a tilt-a-whirl at the fair. Boy, I don't know what it is. I just got all the bad luck with that. And uh, Anyway. Uh, and I, of course, was a part of the walleye competition this year. Yeah. Anybody go down there? No? Okay. Uh, well. Yeah, if you haven't been down there yet, you got to check it out. It's pretty, it's pretty great. Uh, they've set up what... What is it, Wayne? 24 foot by yeah, eight foot deep. Eight foot, yeah. At, uh, uh -huh, it's they the, got a tank. It, yeah. That just with a lot of sand. You could swim in it. It's great. It's a lot of sand and some real weeds. I think they, and they get them from the lake, right? They got lily pads in there, too. Uh, yeah, and I'll tell you, they have those. And Terry Benicky, he fell right off his lawn chair. Oh, Terry Benicky, you guys probably all know him, right? From Honda. 
Uh, he got excited and he they had to call off the competition because he just oh fell right in there. Fell in the, fell drink. In the drink, huh? I would have paid a good, uh, a pretty penny for, to see that, maybe. Well, no, he's a Myself. great guy, so uh, he, you know, he was okay. He got pretty wet. Uh, yeah, though. good, but he was okay though, so that he was okay. He got really wet. Speaking of wet, wet time, summer fun here uh, at the state yes. fair, and wet it is. And uh, to speak of wet, uh, wet dry vacuum cleaner challenge. Uh, there's a, w- a wet dry vacuum cleaner challenge is happening over in My- Mindstorm's tent. Uh, they got a four by four squid, squid square foot of carpet, and the, the, you gotta suck it all up. And uh, boy, I tell you, they sure dirty those carpets up real good before you wet vacuum. So with your wet vac, you, you gotta suck out. They got mud in there, uh, red wine. Uh, what else? A bunch of sawdust, uh, pork rinds. They even got pork rinds in there, huh? Oh, gosh, sounds a little bit like, uh, yeah, sounds like Wayne's house after Super, Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, I don't remember the Super Bowl in my house being that bad. Yeah, I don't think you remember much after the Super Bowl. Okay, well, we did have a, a beer or two, I guess, but uh, we'll speak, speaking of beer or two, uh... I had a chance to, to try fried beer, and I think it was Molson. Oh, fried Molson sounds good. However, that happens. Hey, here there's a lo- there's a lot of a lot of good food at the fair this year. R- r- uh, clap your raise your hand. Clap your hands if you had a good food here. All right. Uh, what did you What did you eat? Ah. That sounds good. I think he's saying roast beef on a stick. Yeah, I had that one. They also had fried pickles, uh, funnel cakes, and cheese curds, which are a standard favorite uh, at the fair. Did you? Uh, how about those? Did anyone have those? Okay, good round of us. Hooray on those. Gosh, any anything uh, anything on a stick here, right at the fair. I'll tell you. Well, see, you know, they got one of those, they have sandwich on a stick, which was a bit of a pragmatic challenge. Did they, I don't know, no one, no one tried that. It, I had a BLT and the tomato was slipping right off on, to my pants. And then the, the Philly cheese stick. Well, sounds I great. I wish I got that. How about, did you try one of those? Uh, yep. Well, I know. Uh, well, I have a peanut oil allergy uh and so the fried the stick foods are a little tough for me to get anything i can eat uh and of course you might know sharon uh she has you know oh, those yeah. strange oh, right. I hallucinogenic like effects happen to her if she eats okay. uh, too much yeast so she can't even touch it she can't even smell it sometimes Sharon, right so uh what she did was she made us a special lunch 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 box uh or bento box uh, full of Japanese sushi for us to eat. They could, we could both eat that. Oh, okay. Well, uh, sayonara. Sounds good. Uh, can you tell me what's in there? Is it a bunch of squid or something or what? Well, uh, honestly, I've never really had it either. Uh, what, what Sharon does is kind of a different, a different version. Uh, you know, she doesn't like any fish raw or cooked. And I don't, now that's seaweed stuff. I don't like that, so... Basically, what it is is you got we got some carrots, ham and cheese, uh, some mayonnaise, and that's all rolled up in rice. Uh, and then instead of the seaweed, we got a one of them uh, corn like a corn tortilla to wrap it up in, the, and then it's like sushi. Well, okay, horseradish is the thing that comes to mind for me. Would be great on that. You have a bit of a Japanese taste. That's a good idea. I'll tell her about it next time. It'd be good if it was some roast beef in there, I guess. And, and then it's just like a, a a roast beef sandwich. And then you could sell that at the state fair. It could be a new thing, sushi sandwich. Instead of on a stick, it's got a, it doesn't work on a stick. I tried that. Did anyone try that? So if any of you other people out there have a yeast issues, uh, that'd be a good choice. Let's talk about that in the future. Anyone, we can talk about that. Your email something. address is right here on the front of the stage. It, there it is. So, uh, producers at TV15. 
uh, and thanks for coming, everybody. Great to have you down here. Okay, uh, we will now take a sh- uh, short break from our coverage of the uh, uh, State Fair to bring you a, a message from our from our sponsors, and we'll be back in uh, a few moments with our uh, continuing coverage of uh, this year's State and local state uh, fairs. you back to my place i stoked the fire even your embrace couldn't sate my desire hopped a flight to bangkok forgot my pants guess that's what you get when you take a chance need to get away no choice but to go book the next flight to new mexico going to the disco a place to go you could learn something that nobody knows buy yourself a ticket and enjoy the show no one else is coming cause you're all alone Carlsbad Caverns is a place to go you could learn something that nobody knows buy yourself a ticket and enjoy the show no one else is coming cause you're all alone Carlsbad Caverns is a place to go. All right. Okay, so the wind's picking up a little bit out here. But it's getting, oh boy, this is almost as bad as last year. All right, so uh, Reverend, uh, oh, well, should we bring out our Reverend uh, Steve Bleen? All right, yeah, come on down, come on Reverend down. Steve, please. Come on down, Steve. Oh, and we're getting quite an audience here. Looks like uh, we've picked up quite a... St- Reverend Steve Bleen's brought some fans with him here. So thanks for coming, guys, to TV15. All right, it's great to be here, Bob and Wayne. Really fun. Uh, looks like the good Lord's blessing, what, blessing us with a little wind here, but still doing all right. I'd only call this a blessing if it was uh, sailing weather. If I was on a sailboat. Yeah, well, but you don't want too much wind on a sailboat. You'll go ahead and you'll just uh, keel over. So. Well, that's if you if you don't have your keel down. If you and if your rud- rudder's loose. I mean, I took a sailing class, and they have that. So. So yeah, me too. I took that. I took a sailing class too. So I know you got to keep your rudder tight and your keel down. even down. Push down. Because sometimes it floats up when you get a big wind. Uh, but anyway, Reverend Bleen, uh, thanks for coming out here. Uh, how, how's the fair for you? Well, it's been real strong this year, uh, Wayne. Uh, it's been really good. Uh, down at the prayer tent, uh, we actually, I decided to uh, start off with a bit of a bang this year. Ooh, kabloom. That's a big win, huh? <laughs> That's all right. That's just the Lord working in mysterious ways. So, uh, but this year to just uh, just get people, just to increase uh, interest in the prayer tent, we got ourselves some uh, all-you-can-eat wings. (laughs) All-you-can-eat wings with some with uh, with beer as well to wash them down. 
That went over really well. Oh boy, that sounds really good if you got some of that. Wow, what kind of wings are they? Yeah, what kind of wings did you... What kind of wings did you get? Yeah, well, we had, a, we had a whole assortment. We had the full gamut, and every bit of it was free. Uh, so you, did you have buffalo or barbecue? Oh, we had both. We had the whole thing. We had spicy. We had Mexican. It was really good. Uh, but anyway, we ran out of that in just like two hours, I think. Uh, that's what you get with free beer and wings. But uh, just to compensate after that, now we've got we're ordering pizzas in, and we've got uh, boxes full of wine. So uh, please still come down to the prayer tent and uh, have a little prayer and have a little pizza. Oh, pizza! That would have been, would have been really good to have pizza down there. It sounds really good. Pepperoni. Gosh, pizza sounds good right now. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Rev, you brought down a clip for us to play here uh, of a recent sermon. Is that right? Can you set that up for us? Yeah, this is one of my favorites. He's got a. Uh, here he's talking about. Uh, he's talking about a sprinkler and uh, a bunch of fun stuff. I mean, a really good. This uh, sermon has laughs and it has tears, and it's got it all. So, do you want to set that one up? For me? Yeah, well, it, uh, it has you know has some laughs and some emotion to it. You summed it up pretty well there, Wayne. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I got to pop back down to the prayer tent. So uh, if you remember pizza and wine, all you can eat free down to the prayer tent. So come check it out if you can. Great. Thanks, Reverend. Thanks. And come and check that out. Go check that out. But not right now. I mean, don't everyone kind of at once. We got some things coming up. Yeah, it looks, too, like, so. looks like some people are, are heading down already. Well, I just go, hold on a second. Hold your horses. We're going to play Reverend's uh, lean sermon. And then we have some other things coming up. So... Everyone don't get up all at once. And if anybody wants, we don't have uh, pizza right now, but if anyone wants some of my uh, sushi tortillas, uh, you're welcome to. Oh, the sushi, those are good, and they're good. I've tried one, a couple, so have them if you want. At the house, mowing the lawn, as you do. And Tammy's inside uh, making bars or something. I don't know what she was doing. But I was out working hard, uh, sweating away, uh, doing my labors as uh, God asks us to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I mean, uh, uh, but, you know, as it is, as I think all of you can relate to, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fire up the old lawnmower, the old, uh, the old John Deere. It's not, a, I don't know what it is, but... Uh, and I'm pulling, you, you know the one with the old ripcord, the ripcord style, right? And I'm pulling on the thing, and the throttle on there, and it chokes, and, you know, it's a, you know how it is. I'm pulling on it and pulling it. <laughs> Finally, I get this thing ripped up and going. And the darn cord is stuck. <laughs> and, you know, I almost cursed his name right out there. I didn't in the end, of course. And I'm, try, I'm trying to push the thing, get it going a little bit, get a little juice in there, and the wheels have gone all cattywumpus too. Someone's been messing with the wheels, I thought. I mean, what's there, what's there some kind of uh, possum or raccoon sneaking into the, <laughs> the garage at night, taking out the old lawnmower for a quick cut? I mean, come on, this is crazy. It's crazy. Anyway, finally I get the darn thing going, and I'm, you know, it's running just fine. And I'm about I'm about two minutes into uh, into my cutting. I got my rows going nice and clean the way I always do. And wouldn't you know it, the darn sprinkler system bursts on. Yeah, no, it's not funny. It's not funny. It was. I'm just seriously here, guys. I'm serious. Right. Uh, you know, and I, I turn to look in the, in the in the window, see if I can get Tammy's attention, get a little help, get her to turn off the sprinkler. I'm looking like Swamp Thing over there, covered in mulch, drenching from, uh, from head to toe. So the thought that went through my head there was, you know, I'm, I'm Adam, uh, toiling in the garden, uh, doing my best to be, uh, to be a man of God. And uh, where's Eve? Well, she's off, uh, you know, talking to a snake or pulling one over on us and, and, and screwing up the whole thing. Why didn't Tammy turn off the sprinkler system like I asked her? I'm getting furious over here, and I'm thinking, I'm trying really hard here, Tammy, and where are you? It's infuriating. It's seriously frustrating sometimes when you're doing your best and nobody's uh, supporting you with it. 
You know what I'm talking about, Tim, don't you? You're a musician. You understand how women can be sometimes. It's, it, it's frustrating. It's darn frustrating to be in that situation and to be standing outside looking like a jerk in front of your neighbors. You know, I don't know who's watching. They can all see from their windows. They must have thought I was, a, I was just the real loser. And in, in my misery, I sit down on the grass, a defeated man, thinking, Jiminy Crickets, this is the lowest you've been, Steve Bleen, in, in, in recent memory. And then, all of a sudden, folks, I hear, I hear something. You know the sound. It's the sound the sprinkler makes. Just these simple beats and, and, and rhythms. And I just, I sat and, and listened to it. God is watching everyone From His sky kingdom above From His throne He sees all with His watchful eye And showers down upon everyone Let him see eat, live, play and love and feel the comfort of his visual Oh boy. So I walked inside and I, uh, I said, Tammy, grab me a towel. <laughs> Maybe I said it a little more sternly than that, but I walk in the door and, and there's Tammy standing there with her freshly baked bars or whatever it is. And she drops them on the floor because I'm standing there like Swamp Thing. And she throws me a towel and says, Rev, <laughs> she calls me Rev. She says, Steve, what on earth is going on out there? And all I could say to her was two words. <laughs> she says, Steve, was that the sprinkler? I, I, I said, yeah. She said, that's a great impression, Steve. You, could, you, should, you should do that next Sunday. I said, don't, don't be crazy. People don't want to hear someone doing a sprinkler impres impersonation. But you know what, folks, in the end of, at the end of the day, she was right. this but but i'm there on wednesday uh so uh, i'll be there uh with the newton zeppel uh newton zeppel players we will be putting on a dramatic uh production of romantic stories uh of the ostrogoths who you probably know uh... you've been listening to tv 15 sizzling summer special jamming jamboree this concludes Season 1 of TV15, but you can still listen back to all your favorite episodes and subscribe to our YouTube channel, username TV15, that's TV, F-I-F-T-E-N. 
please spread the word about TV15 by writing a review on our iTunes page, and look forward to Season 2, coming soon to an internet near you. Goodbye.